I did just say we step to be bra, yes. And I wondered if you'd like to do a piece on it. Well, I disagree. I think breast cancer is of huge importance to women. And I, I know Councillor Metcalf would be available for interview. She's been involved in... Of the street protest, that's right, mate, yeah. Whose daughter used to be a glamour model, yes. And she's also available for interview, by the way. Tomorrow won't be too soon at all. Great. I'll speak to you then. Bye. What are you doing? Getting us some publicity. With Sally and Rosie. Playing with fire more like. Well, it got us the interview, didn't it? You've not even asked if they'll do it. Sally! Radio Weatherfield want to interview you about the mastectomy bra launch. Really? Yeah, we're going for a, a women owning their own bodies angle. Well, in that case, I'd be delighted. And Rosie. It'll give her a chance to say where she stands. Mm. Well, I could certainly talk to her. Great. Well, I'll give you the details later. OK. All right. Thank you. All right, see ya. Have you seen her social media following? She's a PR dream. Hello. What? Uh, yeah. Any word on Ken? No, not that I know of. Well, we've all got something like that to look forward to, I suppose. Some of us sooner than others. <laughs> you sure you're OK? Yeah. Shouldn't you be home if you're under the weather? I do feel a bit out of it. Mm, you get yourself off, go on. Thanks, Mr Connor. Babe, it's nearly dinner time. Or should I say lunch? Is that a bit posher? Ask Jenny. She's a social climber, aren't you? What? <laughs> Blasted thing! What? Well, Jenny's roped Sally into a local radio interview about the launch. Apparently she has all these followers on social media, but I'm damned if I can find her. Yeah. You don't think you should have won this by me first? You don't mind, do you? Jenny knows best. Right. Yeah, look. Not for the faint-hearted, I wouldn't think. You're not kidding. If these are her followers, I'd hate to see her enemies. Oh, heck. Oh, some of these are a bit juicy. <gasps> what? Especially that one. Are you still going to use her? Well, it's done and dusted now. And if she can tell you this sort of abuse, then she can go out and bat for me any day of the week. You get through a lot of mint tea, don't you, Yasmin? Well, it's good for everything. Digestion, stress and a... <sighs> Quiet. Yeah, it's this Ken business. You're not close, are you? No. Makes you think. Well, life can throw you at any minute. He's got a good 20 years on you. It's not always about age, though. We can't worry about it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's why you've got to live life to the full whilst you can. It's exactly what Pat Phelan said. All right, well, there you go, then. <laughs> then why don't we bring the wedding forward? What are we waiting for? We're not kids. We know what we want. What? Well, I know, but... We can afford it. Well, when were you thinking? Don't know. Only just come to me. Uh, where are we? March? Well, nearly April. <sighs> Don't know about this summer. July's a nice month. July? Yeah, good weather, long evenings. But that's only three months away. Decent places get booked up a year in advance, and there, and there is so much to organise. But it's not impossible. Well, no, I mean, I mean there's always why somewhere. Why don't you get that cunning little mind of yours put into good use and get weaving? Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm.